work as a firefighter here today in Brookhaven. And I'm going to be using the brand new fire truck. And bro, it is looking pretty cool. And whoa, look at this, dude. House set fire reported at Resident 34. And I'm also getting a call, which is showing where it's coming from. All righty, well, let's go jump right into the fire truck. And we've got to turn on the emergency lights and the siren as well. And let's go to respond to this house fire. So this is going to be the first responding for today. And bro, it's going to be quite a big fire, it seems like. It's the whole entire mansion that is burning. Holy cow, dude. That's not good. Well, let's go to make sure to pull up towards the house right here. And it's a bit tight entrance, but we'll manage it. And look at this, dude. Holy cow. All right, let's go jump out of the fire truck and hear what it has to say. Please save my mansion. Yes, sir, I will. I'll try, I'll try. Okay, so first of all, we're just going to put out a couple of cones, you know, just to kind of close the area. And what I can go ahead and do, maybe we can even use the ladder. Okay, so let's go to jump here and jump on the back. And bro, am I even able to jump on the back? Yes, I am, dude. Yay, it's working. Haha, <laughs> dude, that is so cool. Okay, I'm actually using the ladder. And look at that, another firefighter just responded to the call. All righty, so it seems I'm going to get some help from this. All right, well, that's not too bad. There we go. I'm just trying to use the ladder. And the ladder is actually working. Okay, so we just put down a lot of fire from there. And can I, like, enter from above? Yeah, I can, dude. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now, we're just going to be putting out some fire in the first floor first. Because I think it's better to establish some kind of ground, you know? And where did the other dude go? I'm not really sure where the other dude went. Maybe he went down in the base. Basement. I'm not really sure. Let's go and check and see if it's down in the basement here. No, okay. I don't even see the other firefighter right now. I have no clue where it's at, but it's fine, dude. I can I can actually put down this fire all by myself. Even though it's quite a big fire, I think this is one of the bigger houses in Brookhaven. So this actually might be one of the biggest house fires. Or actually, we do got the hotel though. So if it's burning inside of the hotel, that would be the biggest house fire. But this is nonetheless quite a big house fire. So yeah, it's even actually a lot of work for me to do all by myself. But it seems like I'm actually managing to do it quite well. Did we just put out all the fire in this mansion? Holy cow, dude. I did a pretty good job there. So let's gonna reset the ladder. Yay, good job! Yeah, thanks, sir. I appreciate it. Whoa, we got a money bag. Let's go ahead and grab that. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Yeah, thanks, bro. Thanks again. Thanks again. Okay, so there we go. Let's go and collect all the cones we just put out. There we go. Perfect. And, bro, we just put down the mansion fire in Brookhaven. That was not an easy job. And that was quite a lot of fire. And I'm not... Oh, dude, I see another house fire. What? Bro, it's literally burning right down here. That wasn't too far off. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, respond to this house fire, I guess. Let's go and park the fire truck right here. Boom. And we're going to put out a couple of cones just so people know that I am working here. Perfect. And now we're gonna enter this house and put down the fire. Let's go ahead and grab the uh, attack light again and start putting out this fire. And holy bomb, dude, it's such a busy day here in Brookhaven today. Like everything is just burning, bro. Holy cow. <laughs> I'm not really sure what's going on, dude. I've never experienced this much fire in Brookhaven, I think. And everything just came all of a sudden, you know. Uh, suddenly, every house here in Brookhaven is burning. And yeah, it's quite a busy day. At least I think I will make a lot of money from this because I'm working way over time I think I'm gonna do today because there's so much house fire bro I'm not even getting my lunch break my well-deserved lunch break <laughs> okay let's go to move into this room I think the fire is out in that room what about this room okay we do got some fire air and I think I can see the reason why the house uh, is kind of burning down because the fireplace was on and was left on unattended so yeah suddenly fires can uh, yeah appear from that but anyways we got the fire out that was quite a successful mission let's go and collect the cones perfect just like that and bro i'm getting an incoming call from oh i think it's way over there all righty well let's go respond to that let's go turn on the emergency uh, lights or in sirens and stuff like that and respond to this call and i think it's coming from way outside of the city yeah it's definitely coming from uh behind the mountain right there so yeah maybe it's a car that is stuck and burning and stuff like that not really sure we just kind of have to respond and see what we got and bro is that an ambulance back there dude it's literally an ambulance what, what what's the ambulance doing here bro what? And bro, it's even burning? Holy cow. All right, we're gonna actually put this down. Let's just go ahead and use the fire extinguisher that I had on me for this. It's a rather a smaller fire, so we don't really have to use the attack line for this. Okay, there we go. The fire is out, and I should probably go ahead and, yeah, turn off the sirens because it's kind of annoying. Hey, bro, what's up, my man? Are you kind of stuck out here? Good job. Can you escort the ambulance back to the hospital? Yeah, sure thing, my man. Okay, so he wants me to escort the ambulance back to the hospital. Let's go and do that. I just gotta, yeah, fix my truck up, and let's gonna escort him back to the hospital, make sure that his uh, ambulance actually arrives there nice and safely, and doesn't burn up on the way. And bro, he's going way too slow. I think his engine might be a little broken. And dude, he just lost a couple of wheels? Dude, he just lost every wheel. What am I supposed to do with you, dude? You can't be driving around with that. <laughs> no! Yeah, 
yeah, bro, you can get in my truck instead. That is not gonna work, dude. That is literally not gonna work. Just get in my truck. I'll get you over to the uh, hospital. Holy cow, dude. Wheels just popped off. Well, I guess the whole car was burning. So if the car's burning, maybe the temperature and the tires and stuff like that gets messed up. I don't know. Oh, dude, I see a burning motorcycle. Sorry, Ambulance, dude. We're just gonna put down this fire first. We're gonna make sure that the Zero Brook even doesn't burn up. Okay, there we go. We'll just put down the motorcycle fire. Now we can go ahead and transport this dude over to the hospital. And holy cow, it's been such a busy morning here in Brookhaven as a firefighter. Well, you know, we're doing such a great job, so it does feel good, at least. Thanks a lot! Yep, here we go. You have a good one. You have a good one, sir, and drive careful now. And boom! Another successful call. We can go ahead and turn off the emergency lights for now because I'm not responding to anything. But you know what? Since there's been so much fire going on, I think I'm just going to be driving around the city of Brookhaven and kind of like patrolling and make sure that there's no more house fire. Because as we saw with the other house fire and the motorcycle fire, people are not usually calling in their fires and stuff like that and that means the fire will be left unattended and nobody is yeah actually treating the issue which can result in even more fires so i'm just driving around making sure that nothing is burning up here so i think this neighborhood should be good yep okay nothing going on here let's just go on and chat with these guys hey is everything okay here bro and that dude is talking a language i don't even understand so yeah is everything okay here guys i think it should be all fine yep okay let's go to move on though and see if we can go ahead and see anything else going on here in Brookhaven. Oh, dude, is that a police helicopter? Bro, what is the police helicopter doing? Is he on patrol? I don't know, but I just feel like you don't really see a whole lot of police helicopters flying around. That's kind of like a rare sight. Anyways, I think we can just go ahead and head back to the fire station and maybe I can even take my well-deserved lunch break because I'm really, really starving. I haven't gotten to eat yet and let's go to close up the garage doors. There we go. And bro, the fire truck must be like a lot longer. It's barely fitting inside of the fire station now. It's insane. Okay, well, let's go ahead and open up. Dude, I can't open up the fridge here? Oh, bro, who locked the fridge? Oh, man, at least we do got a little Coca-Cola here I can drink. Well, that's not even the best lunch you can get, but you know what? I'll take what I can get now because I'm getting super, super tired and I need something to fresh myself up. Oh, dude, uh, the alarm is going off and it says house fire report at resident 29. I'm actually getting a call too. Okay, we're gonna respond to this. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Holy cow, dude. Okay, so my lunch break actually lasted a little bit, which I do appreciate, and I'm wondering where the house uh, or the call is coming from. I think it's a house call because it said so in the fire station. And bro, I think it's actually coming from the estate inside of the mountain. So yeah, kind of weird call, but we have to respond ASAP because bro, a house is burning down here and holy mama, bro. Yep. Okay. We have responded and should I maybe even use the ladder for this because the building is kind of tall. Okay. Let's go ahead and try to use the ladder for this and try to get the fire out. And bro, the ladder is not really, nah, that's not going to work. Let's just go ahead and go in and respond and start putting out this house fire. Okay, so I think the homeowner actually just went inside of the home. Why did he go inside, bruh? Uh-oh, maybe we need to actually grab him first because this is not good. He doesn't got a smoke mask on. Let's go and grab him. Help! Hey, sir, I got you, my man. I got you. Okay, let's go and carry him out of the house, bruh. Oh! Oh, there's so much fire and smoke, dude. He doesn't have a fire resistant suit on. So yeah, we're gonna get him out ASAP and get him fixed up. Let's gonna drop him right here. And now we're gonna enter the house again and put down the fire. Woo! Okay, so that is pretty intense. If you've got people inside of the house while it's burning, it makes it a lot more stressful because now we've gotta actually save some people. So the focus actually turns out to be much more serious because now we've gotta actually save a life inside of the fire instead of just focusing on the fire. But at least we got to do it out and now we're just putting out the fire. So it's actually going pretty well now. Let's go ahead and get the fire out. Perfect. And yeah, we still got some fire on the bathroom here. And I think the fire in the room is over. Yup. Let's go ahead and get the fire here. And bro, I think all the fire should be out right now. I'm not really sure. I'm just gonna do one last sweep because I don't want to leave the house and it's still burning. That would have been terrible, guys. So yeah, let's go to make sure that everything is out. Yup. Okay, I don't see any more fire so it should be safe now. You saved my house. Thank you so much. Yup. Here we go, sir. Your house is all nice and secured. So there we go. He seemed pretty happy about me rescuing this house and that was a pretty successful call. And bro, it's actually during night time right now so what I'm gonna do for today is basically just gonna retire. This had been a super super busy day but a lot of fun though. So yeah guys, that's gonna be it for today's episode. I really hope you enjoyed this one and if you did, make sure to hit the like subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.